Okay, sex sells. We all know that. In a can, though, this is something absolutely amazing. Kentucky is experiencing right now the liquid libido firsthand at the Derby. Courtesy of Steve Utley. Now, we should say that you're a hometown boy, yes, right? That's correct. I from E-Town. From the Lisbon Town, Kentucky. And you came up with this energy drink. That's right. Sex Drive Energy Drink. Sex Drive Energy Drink. Uh, we started uh, developing it about uh, three years ago. We launched it to the public uh, about a year ago in Las Vegas. So. Okay. It's uh, taken off uh, since then. It's just skyrocketed for us beyond our wildest uh, imagination of what it was going to do. The things that we've been involved in, the opportunities, and the doors that have been opened for us, it's amazing. Okay. Now, it's all about the marketing. It's all about the marketing. <laughs> Absolutely. It's always the marketing thing. Okay. And, and clearly, that's what you're doing here. Um, although, I have to, looking at the list of ingredients on the can, Yes. Um, I noticed that, that there are some botanical ingredients in here. Um, being the horticulturist that I am. Being the horticulturist. <laughs> As a, you know, so um, there's no uh, botanical names here, but I do see that you have the common name, horny goatweed extract. Correct, we do, yes. And uh, I, I should have uh, recalled what the actual botanical name for that weed is, I, or I, I, I can't recall at this moment, but we... Uh, On your website, know. you say epimedium. That's it. <laughs> that's the word, that's right, that's what we say. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's a delicious drink. I like that. I like that. It's okay. very unusual. It's a different flavor. We started uh, with it's an all original formula, 17 premium ingredients. As you can see, it's uh, uh, as defined by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, it's an all natural drink. So. Okay. And you also have a fabulous recycling program. We do. Uh, we, this is our, our latest initiative. It's called Recycle Your Sex Drive, is what it's called. <laughs> Which is actually referring to the can. Gotcha. What we're going to do is we're, we're hoping to team up with Richard Branson and some of his initiatives mm -hmm. where we can actually have people bring the cans into recycling centers and we will pay them for their cans to bring them back to us so we can recycle your sex drive. That's going to be a worldwide initiative for us. We uh, plan on launching that in the next 60 or 90 days. Okay. So if somebody wants to try uh, sex drive energy drink, yes. where can they find them? It's available at uh, most of the convenience stores in and about Louisville and, of course, local clubs and bars and liquor stores. It's also available online at sexdriveenergydrink.com where you can also find out more about our recycle your sex drive. Okay. Um, age limit on the... We recommend that over 18. Okay. Although there is no alcohol content in the energy drink and it's a very low caffeine, we still recommend that you uh, be over 18 to purchase okay. the drink. And then um, you also have a, a fine collection of t-shirts you brought us in so we can see. Those are for the staff, right. Okay. Those are for the okay. staff. We love the staff to wear our shirts around. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we'll all ask questions. But Absolutely. So you're um, going to give me your derby pick before you go? I am. Um, but I need to think about that just for a minute. I don't want to tell everyone. I've got a lot of fans that follow me, so i got to be uh, careful what's going to happen. We don't want to, do, no, don't no, want no. to mess up the odds. I don't want to mess up the odds yet. Okay, all right, then I'll, I'll let them off the I'm going to whisper to you when we leave here. Okay, all right, yeah. that sounds great. Well, thank you so much for stopping in. So, thank you very much for your time, and oh, we'll no. see you at the Derby. Okay, thank good you. to see you. All right, bye-bye. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a real quick break. When we come back, John asks.